This is Math 152. We're looking at Section 3.7, uh, Part 3. This is the last part of this um, of this chapter, and what I want to talk about is what we can think of. Um, we've been talking about does it diverge, does it converge, and we have a couple of ways. You know, we can just find the the integral uh, if we can do it. If we can't find the integral, um, there's a couple things we can do. We can be a little sneaky about it, and um, you're book calls this a comparison theorem. And here's the, the basic idea. I'm going to have uh, two functions over some interval, <clears throat> a to t, and we could let t go to infinity, um, or we could let a go to negative infinity. Um, we could let them both go in both directions. But we've got one function that we know over that interval is greater than some other function. So as long as um, this is always greater than that one over over whatever interval we are dealing with. Could be equal to as well, but we'll say greater than. And the other condition is that uh, f is going to be greater than zero. So maybe I'll write this this way. All right, uh, so if that happens, maybe that too. So if that happens, there's a couple things we could we could say. So let's say that uh, f diverges. In other words, if the limit uh, tends to infinity. So notice f is less than g. So if f diverges, goes up to infinity, uh, g is going to do the same. And similarly, we can look at g, and let's say that uh, g settles down to some limit. It converges to something. Um, so let's just say the limit of it uh, converges to, we'll just call it L, some spot L. Notice if G is always bigger than F, F is always bigger than zero, uh, then we would say that the, inter the integral of F then um, has to also converge to some M such that m is less than maybe equal to l right so it doesn't tell us where it's at it just tells us that it does um and so this is a nice little little test we can know if it does converge or if, or if it diverges and then we can investigate further from there if we need to so i want to show that this function uh when i take the integral of it that it converges that it settles down to somewhere so I could try and just find it, um, but if I don't care about where it's at, or maybe I want to actually see if it actually does converge, the trick is to find something that's greater than it that I know converges, right? Uh, something that's, let's say this is it, something that's bigger than it. If this thing here converges, it must also converge to, some, to somewhere. So let's say we know that zero is greater than this for all infinity, right? Because these are all positive. Uh, we also know that uh, this. We also know that this must be greater than it, right? This is divided by x, starting at one. So dividing by x, but this isn't divided by x. This must be greater than that. So if I think about this, then if that converges, this must converge because it's smaller than it. So let me fix this up. Let the limit as t goes to infinity of that. And that is the same as that. Um, so this, as t goes to infinity, this goes to zero, right? Because it's like one over negative e to the power of t. So zero plus e to the negative one. So this converges. So since this converges, that must converge because this is true. So I want to show that this integral uh, diverges. So in other words, I'm assuming that this is just going to grow without bound. So if I get something that I know is less than it that grows without bound, then it must grow without bound as well. So, well, natural log of x from e, when I plug in e, that's a 1. Bigger than e, this is going to be greater than 1. So I know that 1 over x uh, over this interval is going to be less than natural log of x over x. 
and that's greater than zero over that interval. So let's check this out. Fix that up. So now I'm going to take uh, that integral. As t tends to infinity, natural log grows without bound. This diverges. So this diverges. And since it's less than that, that must also diverge. All right. Well, that's, that's the whole idea with this. One more piece. So if you just have to show if something diverges or converges, and you, but you don't need to find where it is, you use this comparison theorem if you're clever about what you so I want to show that this integral diverges for whenever p is uh, less than 1. So if p is less than 1, I basically have 1 over um, some fraction less than 1 or a negative number. I know that 1 over x is less than uh, 1 over x to the p. Well, if p is 0, it's equal to. So it's that. And also that for all these values, this is greater than 0. Okay. So since that's true, well, you know what to do. Let's show that this diverges, this thing that's less than it. And if it diverges, that means that that must diverge. All right, uh, let me clean this up so I can use my limit. Take that integral. So that means I have... Well, as t approaches infinity... Um, Natural log of t grows without bound, so this diverges. And if this diverge, it's less than that, so that must diverge as well. All right. So that's it. That is the idea for a comparison theorem. Give these practice problems a try and post any questions that you have in the forum or message me with them. All right.